Tonight, huge troubles at the Missouri agency that is supposed to help children in trouble. Some say it is causing dangers for kids and children's services workers. Now, a new Missouri senator is fighting for more resources to address this serious issue. Here is Elliot Davis with tonight's You Paid For It. There are over 14,000 kids in foster care in Missouri, one of the highest in the nation. It's a huge problem because there just aren't enough workers to handle all the cases. Far too many end up falling on the remaining caseworkers. State Senator Mary Elizabeth Coleman has focused on this problem for years as a state rep. She hopes to do more in her new role as state senator from Jefferson County. Instead of 20 children that they're responsible for, up to 60 in some of our court circuits. That's too many kids for one person to be able to be really managing those cases. It's a really terrible problem, and not just because it's so expensive for the state, but the human cost. Dana Eckert knows the problem firsthand. She worked as a caseworker for the Division of Family Services for years. Recently, she quit and moved to a non-for-profit helping kids. You work for child services. What made you leave? I left mostly because I lost hope. Um, I had been reaching out to leaders and legislators and policymakers and essentially leadership within Children's Division and I really got no response. The major issue and the issue I've been shouting from the rooftops for, for quite a while is the staffing problem. Um, it's just, it's, it's not acceptable for Children's Division. I reached out to the Department of Social Services that's over the Children's Division. They appear to be aware of a very serious problem. They sent me this document saying the Missouri system struggles to perform its essential functions, resulting in too many children going into foster care and remaining there for too long. We are unable to recruit and retain frontline workers, and we lack essential personnel. The document also contained reform recommendations. Among them, recruit and retain workers by increasing salaries decrease workload, provide needed staff to support frontline workers. The report and State Senator Coleman say the state could save tens of millions of tax dollars by getting a handle on the problem and resolving more cases. What's the solution? We have to be able to make sure we have enough resources so that when we're investigating um, all of these referrals, that those referrals are going to be able to be handled quickly and swiftly so that serious abuse cases can get taken care of. I see my friends out there running reports, hotline reports still, and they're getting five or six reports a day. And you can't do anything for a family when you have that many reports. And to break that down, uh, one report, you might have six kids and they might be stretched across the county. So you say it's unsafe for kids? It's unsafe as well for as kids, workers? it's unsafe for workers. That's another reason I left. Senator Coleman says she has talked to fellow lawmakers who feel the same way as she does, and she's hoping the legislature will make changes to make the situation better for both workers and kids. Of course I'll stay on top of this deal. After all, you paid for it.